All right. Say hello. Say hello. hello. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is my Camera. summer project. Mm -hmm. I found this thing at the uh, the thrift shop. Uh, priced as is, thirty bucks. The Mexicans working there didn't know if it worked. Didn't have a controller. It said, I think it's a Razer. PR 200, but there's not really any identification on it. Um, it looks like the pictures of the PR 200s online, and uh, it's just a really, really simple little electric pocket bike. It's got two 12 volt uh, lead batteries in here, uh, glued together basically, which is a bit weird. Then it's got a motor controller here. I think it says on the side. That it's uh, 29 amps, something like that, 24 volt. Um, little electric motor, little uh, brake thing. Don't know if I'm going to keep it as a pocket bike or if I'm going to rip the parts off it and use it for something else. I have to build a charger and see if it works first. Okay, so I took the bike apart a little bit more. I took the battery out, it's just two 12 volts strapped together and wired in series on this plug. Um, it fits in this little tray with this convenient strap, pretty nice. Um, this is the controller, uh, I think I may have already mentioned, it's a uh, 24 volt, 29 amp, it has a cutoff voltage of I think that says 20.5 volts. Um, it's just the shell is plastic and then there's this heat sink here so I imagine you wouldn't be able to push it very hard before the uh, before the controller burned up and it just bolts on the frame through these little things here um, everything else in here is very conveniently labeled uh, with the exception of this plug here this plug here is labeled for the motor let's see if I can find the yep. motor this one here is where the battery hooks up to the controller Actually, this this plug's a bit weird. It's um, got a bunch of different wires coming into it and connects to this charging plug on the side and it also connects to this side here, which has got uh, the power switch and uh, this little trip thing. I, I'm not gonna call it a ground fault protection device because I doubt that that's actually what it is, but Instead of using a fuse, they've used one of those thingies, some sort of circuit breaker. Um, this bag here, I think this is the, th the th brake. It has an electronic brake, uh, in addition to the actual little brake here. Uh, it can motor brake as well, apparently. Um, this is the throttle connection back here. I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, this is the power switch. That's what that is. Yep. Okay. Pretty simple. Um, I need to get out the trickle charger and see if the battery's still any good. Okay, so as I mentioned before, the batteries here are probably pretty well toast. Uh, each one of these cells is 12 volts when it's fully charged, maybe a little bit more. Uh, it's supposed to, if this controller's rating is correct, yeah, each cell is only supposed to get down to 10.25 volts before it cuts off. And if you know anything about these kinds of batteries, you don't want to discharge them too much because they won't charge back up again. Uh, something about depth of discharge and whatnot, not going to get into that. Anyway, so I have my voltmeter hooked up here, and uh, this is not good. 1.83 volts coming off of one of those cells there. This is probably completely shot. Um, well, we'll have to wait and see what it does when I put it on the charger, but that's not looking so good. Uh, obviously this was left outside. Something probably shorted. Um, and uh, yeah.